Well, as you can see from the weather outside, it's friggin' cold and snowing like a crazy son of a gun. It's more snow than we've gotten in probably several years. <sighs> so nobody's moving on the roads and I ain't going nowhere. I'm going to be working on my clay today. So let's get started on that and uh, I hope it's warmer wherever you are. I'm just combobulated today. I just spent 10 minutes talking about what I did today and the damn phone was set on video, on photographs so that when I hit this button, I got probably 500 photographs taken because I did rapid shoot, shooting. It's the iPhone uh, 10s uh, Max, I think it's called, or Mac. Max, I think it is. Anyway, it's the iPhone. The It's a good iPhone. Anyway, it's, uh, I spent the day trying to get everything arranged, uh, for the, the, uh, GoPro Hero 5, uh, 4 that I just found in my bedroom. It was, uh, hidden in some boxes, <laughs> basically. And I, was going through the boxes I hadn't gone through since my move and found it and uh, I'm so elated that I got it. It took me a while to ch charge up the battery each day so that ate up time. Um, this is my jury rigged system. It's all from the GoPro, all these different attachments that uh, you can get from GoPro and you can get these extensions and all that stuff and I put all that together and I can, you know, change the angle of the camera, you know, and stuff like that. So that makes it really nice. This setup here is a different uh, type of uh, camera holder. This is designed for a uh, uh, iPhone. And uh, it's got a little ball joint up here that uh, you can, you know, angle your iPhone any way you want to. And it'll hold the iPhone up. It's a malleable uh, rod plastic covered and it comes down to here this this uh, clamp and what you do is you just loosen up this sleeve it loosens up the clamp and you can pull it off or you put it on and you tighten it up and it'll tighten on to the board and it's really versatile because i can i can move this any way i want to and since the Hero 4, I mean Hero 5 Sessions, is square, it can be set into its frame any way you want. Now, normally it would be like this, but be, oh no, oh, wait a minute. Normally, the frame would be 90 degrees that way. But uh, I have put it this angle because I have it on a clamp that came with the uh, GoPro Hero 5. Uh, it's a kind of like a uh, clamp, you, you know, it's a wedge type thing would fit on your, maybe your cap or something. Um, anyway, and so, and so this had to sit sideways so that I could uh, mount it on this rod because it ain't gonna work on that uh, ball joint. And it does bounce around a little bit, but uh, it really is handy if you have to you know, get an odd angle for your camera. All right, that's going to be it for today. I'll uh, pick this up tomorrow. I started putting her robe on her waist today. <clears throat> and I had to separate her from the, uh, the sculpture because I just couldn't get uh, behind her uh, with the horse in the way. And uh, I did notice... When I got close to this uh, face, how I had flattened her nose and her side of her eye there when I changed the direction of her head. And I'm so um, upset because now I gotta re-sculpt that damn thing. All right, that's it for today. 
and I'll be back tomorrow fresh and ready to go. Only well, took me about four hours to set this up. <laughs> okay. All right. Good night, everybody. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right. See you next time.